After Fiona Phillips revealed her Alzheimer's diagnosis to the public, his former GMTV co-host Eamon Holmes wrote her a message of encouragement. The 63-year-old GB News host added that his close friend Fiona, 62, always worried that she would be diagnosed with the disorder because her mother, father, and uncle all passed away from it. Fiona stated on Tuesday that she was in total shock when she received the diagnosis, since she had thought her brain fog symptoms were a hallmark of the menopause. Fiona Phillips has regretfully announced that she has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at the age of 62, according to Eamon, who was talking about the issue on the breakfast program. She always had the dread that it would pursue her because both her mother and father had it, and regrettably, that has been the case. So young, I texted you as soon as I saw that this morning, his co-host Isabel Webster said. As you said, she talks about it a lot, and I believe even her uncle had one. This disease has destroyed her family, but she always hoped to live to be 80 or something. 62 is not old at all. But somewhere down the road, a remedy and a preventative measure are visible. I think of my own wife, he said, her father passed away and her mother is still dealing with it. Anyone in that position will be wondering, is it coming to me next? It's just such a nasty sickness, I saw Bell added because it erases all of your memories or your individuality. I believe it's very difficult for family members to witness. And I think 62 is no age, she presumably always thought. She is one of your close friends. She may have known she would eventually get it, but not at 62. We wish her the very best. We wish Fiona the best, Eamon said in his closing statement. Fiona's co-workers and fans rallied around him, and Holly Willoughby expressed her admiration for him on Wednesdays this morning. The 42-year-old anchor of this morning said she was particularly touched by the news because Fiona Frizzle's husband Martin Frizzle serves as the magazine show's editor. Many people reached out to the former GMTV presenter and her husband to express their support, including Holly and her co-star Vanessa Feltz. We are opening with a tale that is actually quite personal to this program, Holly said. Fiona and Martin, our editor, are married, so it's personal. They had been dealing with it for a long time, but yesterday was the day when they were able to publicly discuss it for the first time. Due to Fiona's own admission that dementia has devastated her family, it feels especially harsh and depressing. It's difficult because you typically imagine Alzheimer's and dementia as conditions that affect older people, but Fiona's bravery in discussing this issue demonstrates and clarifies that these conditions may occur much earlier in life. I've known Fiona for almost 30 years, Vanessa continued. She is an extraordinary woman who is very clever, astonishingly quick-witted, and exceedingly intellectual. She is such a unique person that I can hardly understand how this must be impacting her. I couldn't be more proud of her. My heart goes out to her. Let's give love to Fiona and the entire family, Holly continued.
I know they are really overwhelmed by the love they have been receiving, so thank you for those sincere notes that have been sent to the show on their behalf. Fiona's co-workers and colleagues had to hold back their emotions as she disclosed today that she has Alzheimer's disease. Fiona is a former GMTV host. On early morning television, Fiona received words of encouragement from people like Susanna Reed and Dia. Hilary Jones At the end of 2021, journalist and broadcaster Fiona began to experience debilitating anxiety, uncertainty, and brain fog. She saw a menopausal expert and underwent hormone replacement treatment as a result of the severity of her symptoms. While some of her symptoms lessened, the fog in her head persisted. Her dreaded diagnosis, which was verified by a spinal tap test, came last year after she underwent many examinations by different physicians and spent months completing cognitive tests. Dear Hillary, who spent 10 years working with Fiona on GMTV, called her a lovely person, who was very warm, very welcoming to all of her guests, very knowledgeable, mischievous and fun. The 70-year-old doctor of medicine said, my heart goes out to her. I send her all of my love. I'm very pleased she came up about it to spread awareness and assist others. Reed stated on Good Morning Britain. We are all sending Fiona Phillips, well known to all of you as the former GMTV presenter for more than a decade, our huge best wishes this morning. We all know and adore her. She is a very well-liked journalist and broadcaster. She has also been a fantastic advocate for families with Alzheimer's patients. In the meanwhile, her co-host Ed Balls called Fiona iconic broadcaster and recounted how former Prime Minister Gordon Brown previously pleaded with her to give up her TV job in order to enter politics. I imagine Fiona has been contemplating this for a while, and now that it's a reality, she's been tackling it so fearlessly, he said. She is a part of a significant experiment to test out potential life-altering medications, and she wants to lead the way by talking about it. She wants to assist others in coping with this, but she will also have to cope with it herself because it is so difficult, assisting others as she always has done. On her ITV show this morning, Lorraine Kelly added, it is really sad news, but she's been amazing, as you would expect. It's a cruel, dreadful sickness, but she's been extremely strong and hopeful as she always would be. They responded after Fiona described the moment she and her husband learned of the illness in a Daily Mirror interview. It was the shock, she remarked. Complete shock. Martin, 64, said, I simply felt sick. We both sat still. No clever one-liner could have made this go away. The doctor promised to leave us alone in the room for a while so we could process everything. We just exchanged glances before saying, S asterisk asterisk D. What will we do next? The pair then decided to have a drink at a local establishment where they had become regulars and were given the challenge of trying to live our life as normal for now. Ms. 
Phillips is reportedly taking part in a possibly groundbreaking study of a new medication that researchers are hoping would help millions of patients with their illnesses. Martin, whom she married in 1997, provides for her. They are the parents of Mackenzie, 21, and Nat, 24. The couple had held off on explicitly telling their kids that their mother had Alzheimer's until now. Fiona revealed to the mirror last night that after experiencing months of worry and brain fog, she had learned about the awful dementia disease that had claimed both of her parents' lives just a year earlier. The diagnosis, according to Fiona, was heartbreaking and the B asterisk 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 why horrible secret to divulge. Martin said, Tragically, Fiona's family has been rife with Alzheimer's. As dementia and Alzheimer's overlap symptoms with the menopause and perimenopause, the family first believed Fiona's symptoms could have been due to the menopause, which Dementia UK states is not uncommon. Some women may have dementia and Alzheimer's symptoms concurrently with menopause, which, according to the organisation, can present additional challenges when it comes to seeking a diagnosis. The ailment, according to Ms. Phillips, was something I might have thought I'd get at 80, but it was not what she anticipated to be identified with at 61. Because the illness had already affected my life in so many ways, she continued, she felt more angry than anything else about it. It first paralyzed my po mother, then my dad, my grandparents, then my uncle. We keep getting hit by it, she added. This illness has destroyed my family and is now pursuing me. It's awful that individuals of all ages around the nation are having their lives touched by it. She asserted she was still here and expressed optimism that she may contribute to the discovery of a treatment that might make things better for others in the future. She is a participant in a clinical study for the Medicine Miridis Apich University College Hospital in London, but it is hard to tell if she is truly receiving the therapy, because half the participants are receiving a placebo. Her spouse expressed hope that her situation was stabilising, but he acknowledged that this may just be wishful thinking. The family is now making an effort to maintain as much normalcy as they can. But certain things have significantly changed as a result of the adjustments Fiona is going through. She said that she would stop using public transit like the tube because it would make her feel too anxious. She experiences brief memory lapses and is unable to drive. Fiona has already discussed how both of her parents passed away from Alzheimer's. Her mother Amy fell dead from the illness in May 2006, and her father Neville passed away in February 2012. Fiona has repeatedly advocated for Alzheimer's Research UK and spoken out about the condition. When she appeared on This Morning in 2016, she described how her mother started exhibiting early onset symptoms as early as the age of 53 and passed away at the age of 74. Her father started having symptoms in his 60s moved into a warden-assisted flat, and was eventually sent to a mental institution not long before he passed away at age 76. 
She recalled when she first began to comprehend that her mother had the disease, saying, I started to notice mom's Alzheimer's at Christmas. It was really uncommon for her to have the Christmas tree up in November since she was extremely chilly and there was no food in the home. She described her father's despair when he learned what was happening. Dad was beside himself and little did we know he had it too. Strange gifts, my brother received an orange women's sweater. Six years after his father's first diagnosis, the police had detained him for erratic driving. You can't do enough, she said when describing the effect on the family. I adore my brother, yet anger creeps in and tears families apart. Anyone may experience it. My mother was just in her fifties. In 2017, Fiona expressed concern that she may also get Alzheimer's disease, saying, I need to figure out an action plan that can be used if I disappear. Given my family's history of the condition, I naturally worry about passing it on to my children, and occasionally this anxiety causes me to awaken at night. My mum was in her early fifties when we just put it down to her being eccentric at the time, but my parents were relatively young when they got it. She also discussed the demise of her parents, saying, It was heartbreaking. It comes to a slow and disrespectful finish. She also revealed her anguish and feelings of guilt in a 2019 newspaper piece, writing, I feel I never did enough for my mum and dad. I was unable. There is never enough you can do for a loved one who has dementia. It's a terrible illness with no treatment, and the days go on forever. I'll never think I accomplished enough. That's why I cry frequently when people tell my parents how fortunate they were to have me. The shame never fades. Fiona got her start in journalism by working as a reporter for regional radio stations like County Sound in Surrey and Sussex's Radio Mercury. Her big break came when she joined GMTV in 1993 as an entertainment journalist. In December of the same year, she was upgraded to become their LA correspondent. From 1997 through 2008, she hosted the morning program and served as the primary anchor every Monday through Wednesday. Fiona said in 2008 that she would be quitting the program for personal reasons and will be hosting her final episode in December. This occurred after her mother passed away and after her father was also given the illness diagnosis. After her father passed away, the journalist admitted she was angry with his handling of the situation and even called it manslaughter. She began to wonder whether the medications had lost him years of his life because of his quick decline. She expressed her anger at the last treatment of her beloved father at the moment, saying, I am so angry. He was so drugged up in his final weeks that his frail body couldn't handle it. They stole his laughter, then his smile, which was all he had left, and I am beyond indignant about that, you may say. Then they took his life from him. He wouldn't have wanted to continue to rely on others, so perhaps I'm being selfish. 
but that wasn't a choice to be made on his behalf by the healthcare system. Even with dementia, he might have continued to be healthy and happy without those medications. Fiona believes that the experiment she is taking part in will benefit others who are diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's in the years to come. Treatment for dementia and Alzheimer's has advanced recently. Despite leaving her regular spot on GMTV in 2008, Fiona has continued to make frequent appearances on the network ever since, perhaps most known for guest hosting Lorraine. She has also been on Loose Women and contributes to Watchdog on the BBC. For the last 20 years, she has maintained a regular column for the Daily Mirror, where she has previously written on the disease's history in her family. Her appearance on Strictly Come Dancing in 2005 is another reason she has followers. Fiona has long been an advocate for the Alzheimer's Research UK charity, and in 2013, she attended ICAP Charity Day with the organisation, working alongside brokers to raise money for crucial dementia research. She spoke for the cause on this morning in 2016 and at the charity's House of Lords reception honouring the 20th anniversary of the organisation's first grant. She spoke openly about her family's experience with dementia. Lorraine Kelly, who was a GMTV employee as well, tweeted her support to Fiona and added that it is as expected that she is handling her shattering diagnosis with courage and optimism. She's a lovely, kind soul, and I hope the treatment works and results in a big breakthrough for everyone struggling with this awful condition, the presenter of ITV's Lorraine continued. I'm sending my love to her and her family. We're extending our love and support to Fiona and her family following her news that she is living with Alzheimer's disease, said Hilary Evans, chief executive of Alzheimer's Research UK. It takes so much bravery to reveal a diagnosis, and Fiona is more aware than most of the good that may result from doing so. The need for awareness is critical, and Fiona's courage will benefit countless others who are experiencing dementia firsthand. Fiona has been an ally of Alzheimer's Research UK for well over 10 years, and her support has shone such a valuable spotlight on the importance of research in treating the illness is that cause dementia, said Alzheimer's Research UK. Like Fiona, there are about 70,800 people with dementia in the UK, and we're determined to find a cure to stop the heartache it causes. And Fiona's support of our goal is something for which we are eternally thankful. When Kate Lee, chief executive of the Alzheimer Society, learned of Ms. Phillips' diagnosis, she added, our thoughts are with our ambassador Fiona Phillips and her family after the discovery that she is living with dementia. Fiona regularly discusses her parents' experiences with dementia, and her support for the Alzheimer's Society has had a significant and much appreciated influence. We are really appreciative to Fiona for sharing such intimate news in public and bringing much needed attention to dementia. We are here to provide Fiona and her family with our assistance through our website, Alzheimer's.org.
UK and our dementia support line at 033315456, as well as for everyone else impacted by dementia. We hope that Fiona Phillips and her family are receiving the assistance they need following her diagnosis of Alzheimer's, and we commend their bravery for addressing her story in such an open way. Paul Edwards, Director of Clinical Services at Dementia UK, said in a statement to Mail in Line. Mr. Edwards added that many people are unaware of the similarities between her symptoms and those of the menopause, and by choosing to speak publicly about her experience, Fiona will help raise crucial awareness of this and aid others in a similar situation receive an accurate diagnosis, enabling them to access the support and medication they need.